Morning, Carla, Peter, Talal, Tim. So today, uh, I will. It's not really a very complete, complete presentation because we might find uh, additional good tools that might help us even more than what we found already. But I wanted to present already what we what we found, which is already already nice. So I presented already the easy order tool that compute totally your trading size, etc. And uh, personally, I wanted to show you because there is a lot of issue I hear I hear about uh, different binary option brokers and um, and it's it doesn't feel safe to m to make money on the long run for for all of us because they they are like uh, market makers they trade against us and uh, when you lose money it's okay but they they block people to be able to make real money on the long run and uh, trading should should make people make money we should not be stopped by the broker because uh, because this is not the right way to this market should work so some people say it's to protect people but i don't believe in that and um, what i believe is there is a maybe more people profitable today than there was 10 years ago and uh, the broker make less money by taking the money of the customers and that's why a little by little uh, they find ways to in a way to scam us so so if we can go to the forex uh, i don't know within what delay but i believe within six months we will be totally in forex <coughs> And Tim, uh, who is very motivated by, by it, made a lot of testing and he has honestly awesome results. So, and basically, as I said before, when you lose, you lose one, when you win, you win two. So, it changed totally the odds in our favor and the setup, even if the setup are 68, 75% winning rate, uh, it will bring us uh, more money on the long run and faster so I will not come back to the easy order again or maybe fast just to show you uh, ta -ta -ta. let me open a new currency or euro GPY for example So the easy order is quite simple. When the ratio from target profit to stop loss, you put two to have 200. If I want uh, 1.8, it will be uh, you will win 180% of what you place at risk, etc., etc. So usually I work with two, and it's automatically set to allow DLL, so it's perfect. Nothing else to do here. And after, so I have a short odd key, so I place it without searching it. And um, when I want to place an order, if I want to place at the market execution, so this is the way to do, for example, I want to place an order at market execution, and in this specific case, I will select a buy. So <coughs> let's say this level is good, and it's not the second touch, but it's the first touch. What I do when I enter on market execution, I go with the one minute chart and I look at the candlestick. And that's what we could have do actually with odd USD there, because there was here a double bottom very near the level, but like two pips away. It was at the next level actually, 2.5 pips away. And in this kind of entry, your stop loss will be logically below the doji and your target profit should be 200% minimum 
so let's say your stop loss is placed here your entry is here at the end of this doji and 200% make it I would say around here let me check it so between my stop loss and my entry I have one pip 3 <coughs> so it means with two pip 6 we are in our target two pip 6 is ex exactly here so from your entry point in six minutes your target is hit and you made 200% payout uh, based on what it is on binary option so how you do that you just go there you select buy sorry yeah so it removes this and you follow the price and you just have to move the stop loss when it's okay so let's say it opens this specific doji I will place the minimum to make you understand how it goes and uh, let's say I want to enter here because it's a good level and I think it will make it and my stop loss should be exactly here so I place at risk not more than that and my size will always be the same and I submit so now my entry is here as you may know or watch the video it plays four orders so you can get out of half of your position um, when you have for example 100% so if I look at that I enter here and I have 3 pips stop loss so my target if I make 3 pips at, as a target I can close my position here and I will have 100% payout already so 96 something like that yeah sorry exactly here so if I want to close half of my position here, I can do that. Sorry. And it represents on binary option a 100% payout. If it break the low of the doji, which should be based on the price action techniques, a, a strong support, it means the price is likely to go down. So it's not necessary to stay more in the trade than what it will do. So I can click on close order and I have four order and when it will reach this level I can close half of my position and the rest will run with 200% with profit so overall if I win everything I will win uh, half of my position that that pay ha half of the position here and the other half will pay I will win one point time what I invest 150% of my total size which is two times what you will win in binary option already if you let your trade go all the way to 200% it represents three winning trades on binary option and as you can see with this kind of one minute techniques if you have a strong level and the price creates a large week like that this could have been an entry point because the level it was the first touch and you see this strong week here just add the level so you just wait the one minute to do that and when it does that you, you enter here your stop loss is just below so you have 2.1 pips this is dynamic trading and your target profit is 4 pips and you made 200 percent in one two three four five minutes and if you feel at ease to let your trade go along the way and if you just want to trail your stop this is what we will see today you can make more money and the manager can make it for you I mean, when you make when you place the uh, easy order, it's just a simple stop loss and target profit. But what we aim to do to improve our odds and make us win more money is, for example, our level is here. The price go here, goes in sideways, and after a while break up. And after a breakup, come back a little and break a little. And for example, when it will reach a certain amount of pip that is given by my analysis, so I think it will hit the stop loss for this one. It will continue to go down. It's a second touch, so it's uh, it's not likely it will hold. The probability are not spe specifically in our favor. So when it will reach this specific level, it's not your target profit. It's uh, for example two to three pips. Your stop can be moved. For example, one pip here your stop was here at the beginning 
or your stop can be moved for example minus one pips or minus two pips if you are four pips uh, at risk if you place a pending order at first so this is a conservative way but it will take you out a lot of time but it will take you out with zero loss zero profit and it will make you safe that you will not lose so much trades when you will put it at two pips stop loss a side of four most of the time you will lose half of your position if it reaches it but you will let the price more time to reach a higher target and uh, sometimes that's what we aim to do also because you can make uh, we can you can make more money doing that uh, I don't have a preference for any of those method it will depend on you and it's your discretion discretion will dictate you what you prefer if you prefer to lose less trade you will put your stop loss at one pips when it will reach two to three pips if you are a little less risky if you are ready to risk half of your position to make for example uh, 200 percent 300 percent and sometimes more um, you can put at two and after when it will reach for example the first target you can move it to two pips and again and again and again trailing trailing the stop morning Guion. is this first part clear for everyone this part is the basis and the tool easy order is just here to make you place easily your trade and uh, compute automatically the size the other tools that I will present you now don't compute for you the size doesn't compute for you the size but it will jump the stop uh, efficiently without you being uh, there to manage the trade you will not need to be here so that's what we will see right now so let me close this one and you can use uh, both in um, in addition I mean on the first hand if you want to place already your, your target at this point and your stop loss at this one you can place your order and after the expert advisor will take um, will take the following as soon as your order is entered in the trade the expert advisor uh, can manage it for you the way you decided it before so the expert advisor I sent you on telegram today why was we tested some this one TM so there is a video with everything that I sent to you so it explains how it works to you and it's not uh, so much complicated but I will go once again through all the information so you can use the ADR to set your profit but personally I don't use that I use it to jump the stop little by little until the trade is gone so let me find for you what we will use what is important here here is the analysis of all the pair this is the job that I made one uh, half a month ago analyzing all the trade we took with all the pair we had in January until half of February and this give us some uh, likely where the stop loss is ideal to without being touched most of the time what is the ideal target profit what makes the uh, what type of moves may make the currency pair on average and it's by currency pair and we will use that to set the expert advisor so to make it short I put it on my chart usually and we are on Euro GPY so check I think it's on my chart already or maybe not yeah because I open a new one oh no so let me come back to it so Euro GPY I will put it here so it will be better for this specific pair stop loss is 3 target profit ideal is 8 
and break even point is 3 pips and is it necessary to enter manually? no manual necessary so I have the, the information right here so what I will do is I will set my trade manager based on those information the stop loss, the maximum stop loss that you can expect will be written here max loss here so the maximum stop loss for this pair should be 3 pips and this expert advisor talk in pips not in micro pips so I will put 3 then there is a lot of different settings and we don't need to use uh, all of them so this is my first stop loss and I will start with the stop at first stop target means it will jump the stop to a specific level when it will reach some specific point so my first stop target should be when the price will reach 3 pips like here my break even point beats 3 pips at least when the price reach 3 pips I will jump my stop at 0 0.7 pips oh it doesn't work ok so I will put 1 yeah, ok we can't we can put uh, less than 1 pip so it's ok I put 1 or you can put minus 2 for example if you are conservative you go to 1 pip which, wi which will cover your commission and make you totally break even if you are a little more adventurous you put minus 2 here this is the first the first jump stop loss so once it reach I will select the more adventurous one we have the second target so we know our target profit is 8 so when it will be at 6 at least I will be break even and little profit so I will jump to let's say I will let myself 3 pips for the price to move so when the price will touch 6 pips I will be whatever happened after that 3 pips in profit and maybe this second stop loss is not uh, the, the most important but you can use that you can decide to let it hit minus 2 or directly to, to your target which is 8 pips and this is a little more conservative approach the rest if you don't use it you just let it to 0 so you let the stealth mode on true and now we will start to see for the target profit this tool is nice because it will set an automatic target and close your order for every trade that you will place on this chart with this specific setting and in this way you don't need to enter your specific target all the time so my first target profit and I need to, to enter only one because I will not close half of my position but you can if you want to enter a first target, a second target, a third target, fourth target, fifth target and you can you can trade for example uh, you can close half of your position depending on the lot you will uh, you will enter if the broker permit it but for me I just use one target so my target will be all the time for this pair it should be 8 8 pips I don't have a second etc so I just let it in two so it means it will close all my order all the volume of my order when it will reach 6 pip profit whatever trade it is if if the target is not set before on my chart already before by the manual trade but if it's not it will make it this way uh, to 8 pips automatically without me needing to enter a target profit so if I enter my trade manually using only and um, yeah let me finish with that so once you have set these specific parameters that are really connected with the currency pair and it's also explained in the other video you just save the template and this template I will create a new folder here and I will na name this folder TM pairs and inside 
this is Euro GT1. And every time I will load my Euro GPY, I just have to load my template. I go in TM pairs and I load this one, and it will automatically reload all my parameters. So for this one, it's gone. Oh yeah. So as you can see, it tells you what is wrong. So we will come back to it. Expert advisor properties, and I miss the load size that I should take as a first target profit try to do that I will see so if it it will take 100% of my trade size it should take 100% of my trade size and I will save Replay so now it should be good. Let's see what it says. Okay, greater than one. Okay, so a side of 100%, you should enter one. Save again. see it works yeah so I will just move that reduce that and you can see on my chart you have all the information here so your first stop loss will be moved when it will touch three pips it will be moved to minus two pips and the second stop loss will be moved when it will reach six pips it will put it to three pips the maximum loss of the pair is three pips um, uh -huh. and uh, that's pretty it. yeah target profit lots one Buy yeah, we'll see. maybe the more simple for you is to know how much lots you will put into the trade and to enter here and to enter here is the amount of lot that you will uh, place in your trade and it will close all the amount of lot that you place in the in the trade here so this is important do you have any question about that? So, uh, well, I will close that because we don't trade it anyway. Oh, there is three to four order. Or maybe there is a change. Never mind. Okay. So, what I wanted to show you was for example we were we were not in OGPY earlier at this specific level but in forex uh, I entered it when I saw the one minute chart and I won it because of this rejection here strong rejection one minute and if you are on forex you can enter at the end of this candle because it nearly touched the level I mean it was like uh, two micro pips at the level and the rejection here is very very nice so if you take it on forex here you will enter at the end of the candle on one minute 
your stop loss can be 1.4 pips and your target profit is hit in one minute actually in two minutes and if you want to go for the long run and try to catch the bigger move when the price hits three pips you can move it to minus two to oh, sorry since we have only uh, only two pips stop loss here you can move it to 0 0.5 manually yeah because uh, EA should make one pip or plus one so for this one if you have only two pips it will not be necessary to move it and you can let it go in case but when it reach for example four pips you can move it to one pips and when it's four already after it can go and it went to 11 pips but for this specific trade, if you use the um, the tool for easy order, because it's uh, it's a nice tool, honestly, you just have to select that you want to buy at the market before it's at the level. If you have already have a pending order here, you let it go until the pending order. I mean, you place your pending order before and you just wait for it to hit. But if you see the price will not hit it and just create a rejection like that just before uh, it might be worth it to to put your red line at the end of the spike for example and uh, and to place your trade at the at the market execution because the broker IC market has a really tight spread and it permits us to make it and for this one I think the spread is included so it will make the 200% profit it would have made the 200% profit at this specific uh, time 11 minutes, 11 candle on 1 minute chart or la let's say 12 and the price came back to the same level and we have the same opportunity here but this is for manual trade, I mean this is not for if you want to use a pending order you always place a pending order by security but sometimes the level is so strong that it rejects before and it still permits you to take the trade correctly just using the one minute chart you okay with that Talan? And, and this specific example was uh, happened on OGPY, but it happened also on HotUSD. And I will show you how I would look at it. You have HotUSD. Oh, now it touch. Now it touch our level. And it will be a good one, I think. Sorry, I cut my sound because it was a little anno annoying the while I was explaining to you. And this one was a good one, yeah. I didn't take it. I was late. But what I wanted to show you... Oh, it's gone. And I think it will be a nice one. So what I wanted to show you is this specific one. Let me move that, this one. So what happened? You have my level exactly where it is and it's a strong level, 1 hour support and resistance etc and just above you have the 15 minute chart that shows a nice level also but just before and looking at this level the price can really reverse at this level and that's what exactly what happened before and you can enter in this trade same way with odd, odd uh, GPY looking at the candlestick and what happened so for example, you have this candlestick, which is a blue one, so you can't enter at the end of this candlestick because you are too far away from the SR. The SR that might reject was this one. Let's say this part doesn't doesn't exist on the right side, okay? This part doesn't exist. We just look at the previous movement price action. So what do we see first? We see the one minute chart touching this line and rejected and after it tried to come back and when it come back it creates this nice doji so my entry point would have been exactly this doji and my stop loss would have been like 1 pip and 3 and my target profit so it would have been 2.8 so it takes uh, 
8 candles to, to come back in 8 minutes, you have your target profit and the price never came back to the entry point. So that's the way you would have taken odd USD. So this one is a 200% payout, so the equivalent of 3 winning trade on binary option, and uh, OGPY, same. It was very very close, so even if you entered a little before and you can take this kind of SR and you get it there, you can make a lot of money. And 200% is the minimum you can make, because after that it made uh, 12 pips. 12 pips it represents 10, uh, 10, no not 10, 6, 6 of your trading size based on the stop loss and uh, 6 winning represent 9 winning trade on binary option so it means with, with one winning like that letting the price run little by little you will make uh, the equivalent of uh, 6, uh, 6, 7 loss 9 loss on binary option not 9, 6 loss on binary option <laughs> sorry So sorry, we miss odd USD, I miss odd USD, but the explanation was interesting for you. What I can say about this specific strategy is with the 15 minute chart, support and resistance, it works pretty, pretty well. So let's say for example, if you just want to play the 15 minute chart, you can play only this one for example this line which was the, the transformation just after and you look at the price what the price make at this specific level and you see this strong rejection up this double top that doesn't ex ex exceed the first and you can enter not at this specific candle but maybe if you if you have a chance to enter near the level right here and the stop loss is like one, two pips. You don't need to have two pips actually on this one, and you just need one pips. If it doesn't make more than one pips, that's it. And your reward is like uh, five times what you put at risk with this specific trade. Only using the 15 minute chart. So team already make a lot of good results with that. So it is not just words, you know, in the air. It really works. Uh, my personal thing is I focus on binary option and it's complicated to take at the same time a binary option trade and a forex trade and a forex trade you need to be with it until it uh, until it expire reach your target or etc and look at that let's say imagine odd USD finish in a losing trade you were in your stop loss could have been let's say one pip, two pips if you want to be very conservative and it made already five pips so you are already 200% payout and it took you only five candlestick let's say one more six candlestick so six minutes after six minutes you have 200 payout that is not going to happen on binary option so that's the point Okay, so Carla, well done, Guillaume. Okay, good job. Made a good job, all of you. So same. For example, you have a 15 minute level right here, which is the bottom of the congestion. And the bottom is exactly here on 15 minute chart. And you just look at your one minute chart and you wait for a confirmation that the level will reverse. So this first bottom right here is not really uh, strong enough to make you enter the trade and it never come back uh, very uh, close to it but when it comes back and it creates this doji and this doji you could have entered and it put you like 2.5 pips and you need to make 5 pips and it reached uh, like uh, 12 minutes later and if it reversed it would have touched 3 pips so your stop loss would have been uh, maybe one pip above or when one pip uh, then and it, it never returns the one pip actually so it was a good winning trade also for this one those are just examples to make you understand how to take those trades and uh, every day like every day I hear new bad things about the broker and it's a little annoying especially when uh, and for me the forex is very nice because even the day we are break even we are not break even on forex we make money 
or we might uh, have more trades that are near the break even when we don't lose and don't win money but the winning we might make a lot of money compared to binary option so is it clear so if some of you want to use a trade manager i send everything to you just watch the video and you follow the properties and when you enter the properties from from the analysis this one you just enter the right stop loss the right jump loss jump stop loss when it reaches four pips you need to jump your stop from four pips to two or to one pips profit so you you will finish break even all the time and so on and so forth for everything there is even this one which is uh, also for me very important do you need to enter manually your trade or can you make a lot of pending orders and for four pairs five pairs <coughs> you can make pending order for everything but for one two three four pairs you need to have a manual entry and personally i have a little preference for manual entry of course if, it's, if it just touches the level and uh, with the price action with not a very strong momentum going against it i will enter exactly at the level but most of the time the one minute will make you way more uh, accurate and profitable yeah and there is a range before and this is not my strongest level because it has been violated two times yeah so it's a strong level still but lower amount and this range is not healthy for us anyway it's not good market condition on this one Even the one with GBP GPY is the one that we lost actually. Let me check where was the entry point. The entry point was here. So after the entry point, the trade went down 1.8 pips if you enter at the level and it went up 3 pips so when it went up 3 pips your stop loss is put on break even or losing 2 so this one is a losing one no problem with that after this one you could have entered at the end of this specific doji this doji have 1.2 pips so if you want to take pips to take profit at 3 pips it's it's more than 200% and you make money using the strategy that i teach you so this one is a winning one with 200% uh, profit and the last one is this one so now it breaks completely the OSR and when it breaks the OSR it makes a one a double top here and uh, no I will not have taken this one because it's it's not very close to the OSR so I will not take this one I think that's pretty it because for this level after that it breaks up and breaks down, so don't respect so much the level and, and finish down. But, 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 there is a but. There was a next level on this one, which was the one hour chart here. Yeah. So now you can see the price make a new low, new low, and now it make a new high, and it come back to it, and this is a one hour uh, resistance. So this one, for example, broken two times. What can you take here? No, you could have taken maybe here. That's it. That's all where you can take it for a put actually when it's broken so much and it made uh, it made 18 pips already in very short amount of time so
What did you miss? EG? Oh yeah, sorry. I should put my sound on. I didn't see it. Sorry, but the purpose of this specific uh, moment now is not really to make you take the trade. It's to show you the forex because because every day we hear bad news about that. So hey, look about that. It might lose. Yeah, look at that. Sorry for that, guys. We have three minutes to go, so let's see what we, what it will do. You put lower amount, right? As I advised earlier for this one. Just crazy movement. Okay, good. And as I said, it was a very beautiful forex trade. Five pips. Yeah, good one. So you would have lost nothing on this specific train if we would have taken it on forex. Stop loss, break even was was four pips. So when it makes four pips, you go to one pips. When when you have a break even point like that, oh, it can still reject a little. Two minutes to go. Yeah, well, I think this one is gone. And even this level on OGPY worked two times, and might be three times, actually. It made 8 pips already, when the risk was only 6. 6 micro pips, not 6 pips. Were you fast enough to enter on EuroGBP, Guyan? Who is on EuroGBP? of you. It should be lower amount, eh? same as OGUSD. Not very good, uh, not the best level. <laughs> what a spike. What a spike. One pip against and two pips 0.8. I don't remember this one. What are the stop loss and break even? No, I don't have it here. <coughs> yeah. Yes, I agree. Huh? UG, EG is not uh, not the best. Fifteen minutes to go. A point important that I can share also with you is some people think when the price range like that it makes like four, 5 pips range it might go to 5 pips and reverse it might take the 8 of the of the congestion and make the same distance and reverse if it's a huge congestion it will make more distance and some people say some professional traders say the large, I mean not the large, the, uh, the I don't know how to call it, the length of the range 
will represent the, mo the potential move it can go so it's like uh, tac tac oh yeah I don't know I can't measure that so it's 19 candlestick so let me uh, I make a circle it represents 15 pips 15 pips might be the next level right here where there is a very strong rejection before Those elements can, can be taken in conference with the level. If you have a range, if you have a range before, yeah. like it's gone. And OGPY is not good because it reverses like two times. Oh yeah, it's it's out of the money. Sorry. Sorry for that. So it's an odd pair and what time is it? It is three. So it means some European people are starting to trade. So maybe they just see the odd news of this morning and uh, it take action during this specific level. But the rejection just before made it uh, made it not safe. Yeah, so I hope everyone is lower amount on this one. As advised. Lower amount on odd USD. So what I want to do now is um, since we are in a breakout down, this level can be taken. And uh, yeah, no, what I wanted to do is to use the trading room to trade forex together maybe two to three hours per day so my question is who, who would you like who would like to try so we can start to go there because binary option it's not a joke on the long run it's it's gone so the sooner we work together on that the sooner we can really make more money Okay, Carla is okay, Talal, you with us? Yeah, I don't mind honestly. Yeah. Honestly, when we will be trading uh, during 3 hours, I will use the scripts to place my trade and compute the size easily. But the expert advisor, I will, I will not specifically use it. I want us to take one trade at a time on Forex and to place it correctly. So the expert advisor is not really uh, necessary for this specific topic on the trading room, but on your own, if you want to place a pending order, the expert advisor can be a nice tool. So for the rest of the day, if you want to take, uh, even for this specific uh, odd USD trade, this one, if it would have been a pending order with the expert advisor, you would have been 4 pips so stop loss here, which is quite large actually, yeah. And when it would have reached 4 pips, you would have been with 1 pip, so we, you would have finished break even or maybe losing 2 pips if you are the aggressive way. So it would be a half of your size losing for this one, and it could have been break even. And you can do that for, for every level outside the news, of course.
Okay, then let's do that for the next hours. Yeah, it's true. Claire just noticed that uh, GVPGPY was during a round hour and OWSD was also during a round hour and both are out of the money. So I might be a little bit more strict with the pending order. Yes, I will use the easy order to, to enter my trade. Because the uh, trading manager is nice but it doesn't compute the right size. And if you want to use 1% uh, of your account each time, the easy order is the best tool for now. Maybe in the future we'll find better, but for now it's it's the best we can have. So I will use the easy order to enter my trade and... Uh, and if I place a pending order I will put the expert advisor. It's true also, Carla. It's true the Asian market is closing one hour ago and uh, during this specific hour also. And maybe we should avoid those time. I said it a lot of time, but maybe we really should. Maybe from 5 a.m. GMT, maybe not 5, but 6. <coughs> Sorry. Until uh, 8.30 we should stop. This one was based on a 15 minute uh, chart. This level is, a, is the top of the congestion and you can even go to the to the beginning of the big candles that get out of it, which is our 1 to 3 pattern actually. And what did it make? It made 3.4 pips and it made 6 pips. So actually with 6 pips we should have put our break even to 2 pips so I believe the minimum we should have made on this rate w was 2 pips. <coughs> Sorry. Bit sick. And the next 15 minute level we can use is this one. Okay, so let's let's do that. We will trade. <coughs> we will trade this level on forex during three hours. Uh, if there is no news, let me check. I don't know what there is. Oh, there is CHF in 50 minutes for the London Open. Yeah. And after the CHF there is nothing. So we will avoid London Open during 40 minutes and after 40 minutes we will come back and we will trade again. And we will use this kind of uh, level that are 
quite good level. And if there is a signal, we will trade it also on Forex. Odd USD is quite near for a call. Get ready. It is at a 15 minute support and resistance exactly right now. But the momentum is very strong. The last time there was this kind of momentum, it break it. But this candle is nice. hesitating because of my stop loss but actually I should have gone in I don't know you, but I find these easy order uh, things very nice. For manual trading, honestly, it's a very nice tool. <coughs> so anyway, since this one is near, let's make a pending order for this specific one. I will make a buy limit. So, I will place my entry as a pending order to my level. And for this specific pair, what is the stop loss usually? Stay with me. Okay. <coughs> so the stop loss should be four pips. So my entry is seventy seven fifty four, so fifty fifty three. Fifty three. Look at that. I think it would have hit the the target profit already. Fifty three. Hesitation kills me. And so my pending order is there. And that's it. And target profit should be eight, so it's perfect. Four eight. And I submit. Everything is good and it's placed. <coughs> but this 15 minute level might hold, yeah. You can make this way with binary options, the difference is it's way 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 more risky. On Forex you can permit yourself to do that because you know most of the time when you will lose you will lose half of your size or sometimes you will lose nothing. From this specific point where is the price right now, I can be either take my profit or I can be already on break even, placing at only one and if it come back to one I will lose nothing, I will uh, win nothing. But risking 1.2 pips, I could be in profit with 200%. This is a nice way to use the easy order, honestly. It's a very, very uh, powerful tool. So I have my pending order for the real level, which is a little downstairs. Now let's come back to other one. And I would say this one will be good for a put 
same it's like a trans trade and the difference is uh, most of the time you have a better risk reward it can make a lot of pips when it's a trans trade like that on 15 minute chart and the power is really strong going down we might have a good opportunity there What is your problem with easy order, Talal? Did you do the manipulation with the, you know, in the text document where they ask to uh, enter the different uh, sentences? I forget where, but I did that and it works perfectly after. If you installed my complete profile, you should have it already installed on your MD4. It was included in my in my complete, you know, the complete file where you wanted to delete some indicator, etc. The script is on and the indicator is already there. Uh, look at that. So, never mind, let's come back to other level. I don't know. Um, what can I do for that? I can give you the link of the thread, it's on Forex Factory. Actually, if you type on Google <coughs> Easy Order Forex Factory and you can ask on the thread what's the problem. Maybe someone will explain and help you. I'm not a professional with that. Okay. Wha what did they say? Are you sure your your script is in the script folder and not in the expert advisor folder? Because it's not an expert advisor, it's a script. So the only place where it should be should be in the indicator and in the scripts folder. Because I am thinking about what you say to me. The pop-up window you have is a pop-up window that I see only when I load an expert advisor. I don't see that when I load a script. Oh, Euro GBP was a nice in the money. Yep. Sell Euro GBP 50. How much? Oh my god. Imagine that in Forex. I'm not a big fan of the second touch, but sometimes when you have a nice doji, it can be a good chance. But my easy order is not ready, so we will wait the next level. Anyway. Yeah, the next level is here exactly. You can make that after. Yeah, right here. The white dot line will be for Forex. I will prepare more charts so we can take more trades using that. So, can you try to research on your different folders? And if the script easy order is in the expert advisor folder, it's not the right place. You should delete it. Maybe that's. Why there is a problem, no? Have you checked that? Ready for action. Yeah, might be a good one. Thank you. 
Freunde. Das ist ja Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> oh, did you put the DLL the DLL file in the history? Library, sorry. In the library uh, you have easy old order that DLL. And if you go in my scripts here it is. Okay, a lot of things is open. But here it is. Easy order close, easy order draw. I don't need this one actually. Easy order submit and easy order in is not here, right here. So we don't need it here. To let me suppress what I don't need. Again. Try to download the complete file on on the group or so. Yeah, the point is, can you check on your expert advisor if it's there? Because you, if it's there, you have to remove it here in expert. If you have the easy order somewhere here, you have to remove it from here. And the three different things you need the indicator to be here inside the indicator folder then you need in the library to have the dll file and then in the script all the rest the easy order submit the draw the close and the normal the easy order that x x4 There is the news and the London Open, so we avoid, uh, we don't trade during 40 minutes and we come back just after. <laughs> 